citizens are enduring unlivable conditions. I need you to take action. After describing living conditions, some of which you see here in these pictures provided by residents, I asked Rhonda Berry Deer what it's like there. <sighs> hell. Excuse my French, but that's what it is. It's basically hell. Specifically, rodent infestation, broken sewage lines, mold, poor plumbing. Although recent waterless days are over, there's a steady stream of complaints, more than two dozen more since a Monday night gathering of growing concern. The property needs to be shut down. They need to be made to stop leasing units because it's not a safe environment. Ms. Barry Deary. That's the message she took to City Hall today in a desperate plea for intervention. Per the auditor's website, Williamsburg of Cincinnati and Hartwell has been owned by RRE Williamsburg Holdings LLC for the past decade. I'm speaking to you today because there is a city public health emergency at the complex. Barry Deer issued a public plea for lawmakers to take a tour. Stop turning your head to the issues. Come out to Williamsburg, walk the property, see it for yourself, speak to the residents, hear their stories. It will break your heart. City lawmakers know part of this involves absentee ownership. And that's an ongoing problem all across the city as out of state, out of town landowners, landlords who are not taking care of their property. What can be done about that? And so we have to first check with them and see if they will comply. And that, of course, involves a certain period of time. We are told the city's legal team is determining what can be done, the next legal steps involved in all this. The vice mayor telling us inspectors are on it that the city is not just sitting idly by about this, that they intend to help those residents. Live at City Hall, John London, WWT News 5. John, your heart just goes out to those residents. What can you tell us about how management at the complex is responding to all of this? Well, property management has not responded to our message at all. We do understand, though, that Rhonda Berry Deer is either meeting with or will meet with the property owners, so that is a new development that that came about late this afternoon so the ripples have turned into waves on this we'll see what comes of it john london live for us at city hall tonight thanks so much john happening right